Hello, let me read out one of the titles of Mr. Webb's videos from the last day or two. Two-tier policing in Britain. How the police are more easygoing with those whose skins are dark. This was Mr. Webb talking about Isabel Vaughan Spruce being arrested for praying outside an abortion clinic. Now, this was something that popped up on the radar of a lot of people like myself who are Catholic in Britain and caused some concern. One of the problems with this is Mr. Webb has turned it into a fight about racism and turned it into a, a battleground where he's drawn lines of race. Had he actually bothered to tell you somewhat more about this situation and this whole case, you might have questioned that narrative. You'll see why in a moment. As usual, with the wonders of Zoom, let me scare the screen. Do you see this priest on the left here, Father Sean Goff? Notice he's standing next to Isabel Vaughan Spruce. Father Goff is one of Isabel's closest allies, and Father... Sean was arrested as well last year. However, you will notice Father Sean is rather darker skin tone-wise than Isabel because he's mixed race. It's funny to note that Simon didn't bother to do the research on this one because, as usual, Simon, you either didn't know about Sean and it shows you didn't do the research and the background on this case, or if you did, you conveniently forgot to mention it. Let me read out this article, which is from the 16th of February 2023. Abortion clinic charges dropped against Wolverhampton priest. Cases were dropped against Father Sean Goff and Isabel Vaughan Spruce. A Catholic priest says Parliament prayer has been criminalised after charges claiming he intimidated service users near an abortion clinic were dropped. Father Sean and charity volunteer Isabel Vaughan Spruce were facing four charges at Birmingham Magistrates Court. But prosecutor Ekeen Pruce said both cases have been judged not to meet the full code test for prosecutors. Everyone has the right to pray in their mind, Father Sean said. The prayer were due at separate prayer were due at separate hearings at the court on Thursday, accusing of failing to comply with the public spaces protection order PSPO on dates in October, November, and December. But by the way, before I go on, since I'm going to have to refer to public spaces protection orders quite a lot. I'm just going to call them PSPO at this point. Miss Vaughan Spruce from Malvern, Worcestershire, and Father Goff of the St. Peter and Paul Catholic Church in Wolverhampton were both accused of protesting and acting, engaging in an act that is intimidating to service users of a Birmingham clinic. Now, they both have a history of being protesters against abortion, which is not surprising as they're both devout Catholics. And they both... Uh, had PSPO orders because of this against them. Now, the wrong and right of that is something I could debate back and forth with you, but you will find Father Sean talking about his own experience on YouTube, and I will be putting a link on this video with Father Sean talking about them. Now, I do not generally dredge up the subject of abortion because it's, well, let's put it, it's touchier than a, a cat on a a bed of hot coals who just to talk about and it's a difficult subject to rise without starting massive rows and fights all over the place yes i don't love abortion as a catholic right and but my own views on it are that we um i accept it occurs i also have the view that if we are going to ever quell it we have to work towards a a society when there's there's care from cradle to the grave and also, we don't need a society in which women who have had it are condemned or stigmatised. That's not going to be helpful either. We all have our own personal sins and failures to work out, and I have plenty on my own to be getting on with, thanks very much. Um, I don't want to be hearing people going that they, women who have had an abortion can't be forgiven. To be fair about that, you will not find Father Shaw and Isabel saying that either. Neither of them have ever come across like that. I've heard them both speak in videos and neither of them ever make such points. Whether we should have protests outside abortion clinics is a touchy subject, because when you look at American videos where they're allowed, it's uh, some of the behaviour you see is, well, less than, less than Christian. You see people screaming at girls going in or following people in and 
having fights and attacks on clinic staff. I'm, I'm not going to be supportive of that in any way whatsoever. But, Simon, if you're going to go on about two-tier policing, do the research as ever. Give a fuller picture. Yet again, you didn't do it. And there's much more to the story than you let get on. And all it takes is 10 minutes time for someone to go and dig that out. A lot of your subscribers won't, but those who will, will realize that you didn't do it. 